that's been one of my biggest fears since we've had this house out here is like a cow's gonna chew through an electrical line kill himself and then i gotta deal with that grow your garden find your tribe let your hearts burn inside move your body towards the light Hello everybody and welcome back to the Terraform Homestead. Today we're coming to you with a new series all about our solar system. This is not a how-to video. This is not an in-depth detailed demonstration of exactly what we've done. If you're looking for that, there are a bunch more resources out there on the internet that are much more educated and detailed than I can be in this video. But this is what we did to get our system set up. In this series, we set up our systems, uh, one for ourselves, one for our camp. And with that, enjoy this episode. Today, I have been uh, procrastinating working all day, which uh, basically means procrastinating on the project you're supposed to be working on by working on another project so you don't feel bad about not doing anything. I was supposed to be cleaning the RV. Uh, we've got a couple people showing up in about a week, um, I think, I'm pretty sure. Work wears, you never know. Um, so I was supposed to do that today, but I just did not feel like it. Worked way too hard the last couple days and wanted to do something more fun. So I spent the morning planning and researching and designing and all that kind of stuff and spent about three hours at Home Depot today um, and got all this wood, got all this wood and got this. New electrical system. I'm really excited about this. We got our second Tesla battery delivered yesterday. Um, so that will put us at 500 amp hours, which is really cool. Lithium ion batteries, awesome stuff. And now that we will be having not just the tiny house, but the RV and then our pump house. Um, so we'll have to be running electricity way, way out there. Um, to run that that well pump decided it was a good time to upgrade to what our electrical system will be Finally like done done eventually this will hold this whole area will be a workshop um, So we'll end up building the workshop around the electrical box got it into its spot and up on blocks. We have termites out here, so anything wooden has to be elevated off the ground. So that's why we have the cinder blocks. And in addition to that, I've got some of these uh, pieces of rebar cut and kind of hooked that I will be driving into the ground here. And then I have these long carriage bolts and then I just put a washer in here um, to kind of help further anchor this bolt in. Then now I'm going to fill these four with concrete and this will be locked into place. One of the things that I don't really think about out here in the desert, I've got these black hinges and they've been sitting in the sun so now they're literally too hot to touch. <laughs> so I got to get my gloves to get these guys on. Doors are in, and look at that. So now I'm gonna get the roof in, the floor in, and the backboard in to mount everything. I'm very upset right now with this cloud. This cloud was over there, and it's been raining the entire time, but it decided to go around behind the mountains and then over here. So we got no rain whatsoever on the property. Nice, windy, hot day. Great for filming. Um, I have got in uh, our line and I'm about to start trenching. So I'm going from the tiny house to the electrical box. Um, and that's going to make it so they don't, don't have these janky extension cords going everywhere. That's been one of my biggest fears since we've had this house out here is like, 
The cow's gonna chew through an electrical line, kill himself, and then I gotta deal with that, so. Today is the hottest day we've had so far. I think our high is 101 today. So this little cloud is providing just the tiniest bit of relief. Uh, so it's 101 out and then I'm just on top of this motor basically and it's just, it's hot. It's hot out here in the desert. No one ever told me that. Getting my grounding rod driven in. This is no joke in hard soil. <laughs> I feel like this soil is the bane of my existence with all the electrical and plumbing that we have to do out here. Okay, we've got almost all of it done. Just got this last little bit here by 10, 15 feet, and then we'll be done. And then we can get to what I'm good at, laying pipe. Kind of how it's going to be. I need some more parts before I can finish this out, um, as always. Never get everything in the first run, but this is going to run all the way down there. There's that post. Running some big gauge wire. Um, I think I got eight gauge wire, I'm pretty sure. That's going to be way better than this janky ghetto fire hazard that we've been living off of. The 30 amp plugs going here. I got this, this wire big enough. That, or the conduit big enough that I can run six eight gauge wires through it. And so I'm gonna have a T off here and then not right now, but once I get the ditch witch trench here to this little spot and then kind of 45 it out to the water tanks. Here's the makings of the electrical closet. So this is second Tesla battery. Um, the other one's currently being used uh, with two of them there. That will give us 500 amp hours at uh, 24 volts, which is plenty and should be hopefully enough for the big house and everything we want to do out here. Uh, so eventually this whole area right here will become my workshop. Uh, and then I'll mount the solar, solar panels on top and kind of thought about right in here doing a like a covered garage kind of thing just so we can get a little extra rainwater but that's probably a little ways out so the solar panels right now they're terribly mounted not oriented right but eventually they'll be mounted on the roof here coming into the pv box um, that will go to the charge controller batteries inverter breaker box and then breaker box goes to everything Got everything um, mounted, and now it's starting to wire everything up. It'll be a quick tour, so we'll have an inlet here. Um, I still got a drill that will go to this, which is a PV combiner box. It basically takes all the panels and then combines them into one cord. That goes into our charge controller here. That splits off and goes down to our batteries, which these are two 250 amp hour, 24 volt um, Tesla batteries. These will be connected, um, so we'll have 500 amp hours worth of power. That goes into our inverter, 4,000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. That goes to our breaker box here. Okay, so I've got everything hooked up. There we go. Flip this guy, and I'm gonna run over to the tiny house and see if it's working. It would help if I plugged in the tiny house. And we have electricity to the tiny house that's not a ghetto uh, extension cord. Super excited that this worked the first time. We are set up. We are pulling about 800 watts right now in. Uh, so I've got. Over here, a string of 600 panels, or 600 watts worth of panels. And up there, there's another 600 watts worth of panels. Those guys come in and plug into these two slots here. Uh, that gives me another four slots to put in. Um, and I've got, on order, about 1,200 more watts worth of panel to plug into this. The power station's pretty well finished up. I've got everything hooked up here, everything's live, everything's working. Added on 
a outlet out here so I think I'm gonna build a bench right here as a work table for a little bit until I get something to get the workshop more built we have out here and see maybe our uh, percentage and then this is a cutoff for the inverter so that way I can turn everything on turn everything off from the outside and not have to worry about getting into the locked cabinet uh, if I need to shut something off quickly really excited really happy for this um, this is a big upgrade from doing it the other way everywhere I go I'm in the land of the lost and the broken heart I hope this was inspiring to you. Solar is becoming so much more accessible and DIY friendly. For those of you interested in maybe getting involved with us and getting some off-grid experience, some DIY experience, learning how to use some tools, learning how to build a house, um, please check out our link below for our Eco Residency Program. We're going to be ramping up our summer program very, very soon and are starting to take some applications. Spaces are very, very limited, so be sure to get that application in as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was inspiring. Go build something cool. Everywhere I go, I'm in the land of the lost and the broken heart.